Today we're going to be talking about a very hot topic for knife makers who are just getting started out. Getting straight, even plunge lines. Getting straight, even plunge lines is one of the hardest things in custom knife making. It's something that I struggled with early on and I think that's true for just about everyone. I believe that the method that I'm going to show in this video is good for a new maker who doesn't want to run a bunch of steel but still wants to learn how to grind his bevels. It's slower than 100% grinding but the risk of failure is way lower. So let's get started. This tutorial will show a method that uses hand files to set matching plunges, then augments the strength of your belt grinder. Any belt grinder will do. If you have a 2x72, great, but you can also utilize a 1x30 or a 2x42. I'll be using my 2x42 budget knife grinder as a demonstration here. You can find a full review of this grinder in the cards above. Utilizing Dicom Layout Fluid, or a Sharpie, you want to first lay out the lines on your knife. The first thing I'd like to do is lay out the bevel lines, followed by the center line, which will make your edge. And then finally, lay out your plunge lines. These will generally be perpendicular to the bevel lines you laid out, or at least close to it. Next, clamp your knife down to your work table. With a triangular needle file, Create a divot where you want the center of the radius of your plunge to be. Do this on both sides. These divots will be utilized as guides when we start filing in our plunges. Next up is to take out your round chainsaw file. Mine is a 5 seconds of an inch file. They're pretty easy to find. I got mine on Amazon and I'll put the link below in the description. Take this file and start taking away metal using the divot as a guide. Make sure your strokes are tracking with the scribed plunge line you placed onto the knife. Start off with a high angle and file down to your edge center line first. Then, progressively bring your angle down to move the plunge up towards your scribed bevel line. The cleaner you keep your file, the better, especially towards the end of filing. This will make cleaning up the area with sandpaper easier when you move on to that step. Once you get around an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch away from your bevel line, go ahead and stop. Then match this process on the other side. You'll eventually blend your bevel into this hand filed plunge. Next, you're off to the grinder. You can build the jig or you can do it freehand. I've done it both ways and to be honest, I'm starting to prefer freehand. But for this example, I'll use a jig. Start at an aggressive angle into your blade and grind down close to your scribe center line. Then start steepening your angle so that you work towards the bevel of your knife. Once you get to around the sixteenth of an inch away from your bevels, stop. If you're good at grinding, you can continue all the way up to your scribe line. One thing I like about this method is it allows you to learn how to grind, but it keeps the safeties on so you won't ruin your blade. If you're confident in your grinding, you can go all the way up to the scribe line. If not though, we'll take out the file jig. You can build this file jig for a very low cost. I'll link a video on how to do so from another YouTuber. Now you take your file or a file covered with sandpaper and start to work up to your scribe bevel line. This will allow you to get a bevel that is even and flat. You can roll the sandpaper over to the edge of your file and work into your plunge lines that you created with the chainsaw file. Do this gently and you should be able to clean them up nicely. I generally take the blade up to around 220 grit, then it's off to heat treating. After heat treating, you can come back to this file jig, or if you're getting better at grinding, go back to the grinder and clean it up with some surface conditioning belts. To wrap this up, I think this is a good way to get your feet wet with grinding bevels, without risking ruining a bunch of knife steel. It's faster than by hand, and can be used as a stepping stone on the full-on freehand belt grinding. I hope you all found this video helpful, and if you did, please smash that like and subscribe button. I'll have more content coming at you.